Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, that means you've watched part one where I showed you how to braid your own hair for this type of hairstyle. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the way I did my hair and you wanna see how I achieved this natural looking crochet set, this video is for you. Stay tuned. So before the video even gets started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to get some feedback from you all. Okay, so we're going to be using Marley hair to do this look that we have today. So you're going to need a crochet needle. And you're also going to need an oil of your choice, but I did choose tea tree. This is a protective style, so we want to make sure that our hair is hydrated and healthy underneath. Alright, so this is the Marley hair that I am going to be using. I will leave the description in the comment section below. We're actually going to be cutting it to get the full use of the hair. As I only have two packs, this hair can be, get very expensive, so we just want to utilize it to the best of our ability. So instead of just pulling out the pack, we're going to actually take a strand and split it in two to get the most use that we can get to create more hair, basically. All right, what you see me doing is just putting the needle through my hair, putting the crochet, crochet hair through, looping it, and then I'm going to knot it. I'm doing a double knot and then pulling it down because that seems to be the most secure. And I'll show you it again. Pulling it through, looping it around, and pulling it down and here it is in slow motion make sure you open the loop up completely put the entire strand of hair through loop it around pull it through again and then pull it down as tight as you can stand it but not too tight for where you cannot get it out Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the closing part where our hair would meet. This time I'm doing my loops a little different. I want it to seem like it's knotless. So what I'm doing is just pulling it through the same tactic, looping it around, but I'm not pulling the full strand through. I'm pulling not even half of the strand through to create the knot. That way we still have protection, but it's not that big. And it's a slow motion for you. You see me closing the loop, bringing it through taking not even half of the strand, just enough to formulate a knot. And then I'm just pulling it through. And there you have it. And this is what you should look like by the time you get finished installing. So now you just wanna play through it and pull out any excess hair, uh, any strangly pieces and cut those off. That's the back of the hair. And I just want to bring your guys' attention to my part. That's a that's, uh, method that I use, the half strand, is why my part looks so natural and why this is a natural crochet. So I do you want to take some oil? Oil the Marley hair. Marley hair can be really dry, so I need this to work with me, so I'm manipulating it a bit. I'm also going to use some Shea Moisture on it just so it can hold the curl that I'm trying to put in it. I'm trying to get a wavy type of look. From this now you can buy this type of hair pre-rotted um, but again I chose not to I just don't see the purpose when I can you know get my my ideal look on my own but if you want to go that route you can definitely go ahead and do so so what you just see me doing here is using the shea moisture on the hair and then twisting it because we're going to be dipping this soon And you want to twist it as tight as you can. You can also choose to braid it. if, Because sometimes braiding it gives you better results rather than twisting it. Um, but you can choose to do that as well. But you want to make sure you do it as tight as you can. As you can see, I'm taking smaller sections so that it can be more defined the way that I want it to look.
<laughs> my hands started to hurt because I'm twisting really hard. So just trying to get it as tight as I possibly can. <laughs> I wasn't joking. My hand was really throbbing how hard I was twisting that. Just trying to get it as tight as I can to get the best look that I wanted. All right, so now we're to the point where we're dipping it in the hot water. Be very careful with this. I don't even know why I had the pot. I should have just poured it in a cup because that's not safe at all. But you always want to make sure you have your towel there to catch your hair when you get done so you can get the hot water off. And here is the takedown. So I did leave my hair in the twist, but I also did plait them. For some reason, my camera did not record that, and I did not realize it until editing this. But what you see me doing is taking down the braids that I did in the twist that I originally did. And it's coming out just how I wanted it to. All right, and this is the final look. It looks very natural. It looks how, how I want my hair to look when it reaches that length. And that's what I was really was going for. So with this type of style, it is very versatile. I just wanted to see if I would be able to rock this type of styles that I actually rock with my real fro. And it turned out pretty well. I like the two little buns at the top and then the back being down. I just, that's like my favorite hairstyle. Again, that part looks... So natural. Okay, and you see my edges, you know, I had to govern those accordingly. <laughs> had to get them right for this uh, hairstyle that I just did for you all. So yeah, I am very in love with this hairstyle. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment. And follow me across all my social media. Stay tuned. More videos to come. Bye.